All right, guys, another video here. Um, don't know if you guys ever wondered what I have under my um, bed cover. Like you guys know, I do mobile repair. Um, this is what it looks like. Kind of tied it up around, kind of not. This is where I got all my um, sockets. I just put this, put in this little new holder because I had one of those twist on ones, snap on ones, but uh, all right guys, another distraction. We got a little visitor there. That's my son. A mess in the garage too a little bit. Um, but yeah, like I said, snap on ones broke off while I got into a little car accident. Um, the little holders themselves broke off, so I didn't have time to ask snap on if they sell the repair ones. The boy's excited. But yeah, this is what my setup is. I got all my sockets right here. I mean, this is all Matco and Snap-on, I believe. Um, got a wrench, wrench, screwdrivers right here. Um, pretty much everything I need to do a basic repair. And um, then I got stuff in here, all my pliers and stuff. My uh, coolant clamps, tire gauges, and then my knee. Got my little power tools right here. And um, if anyone doesn't know about this, Milwaukee Fuel Impact Wrench. This thing is um, a beast, I'm tell I'll tell you guys. In my two years, two or three years I worked at a dealership, I never used a air tool. Never. This thing could literally take off truck tires. And then I got a... Yeah. Drill, drill, and I got a impact. Very useful. Um, then I got all my wrenches in here, um, extensions, adapters, um, anything else you might need for a job. Everything else is right here. These are uh, Pittsburgh. These are Matco. Um, these are they do the job. I mean. <laughs> I just have a lot of math code ones because uh, if anyone's ever worked at a dealership, you know that everybody looks kind of down on you if you buy anything else besides Snap-on and Matco. So that's why I have a lot of Matco and Snap-on. Um, I don't know why I fell for people's thoughts, but that's what I did. Um, this drawer is a little bit more messy. Um, I have a little coolant refiller. As I was saying, this one's a little bit more messy. I got all my drill bits, like a cooling system refiller, does a vacuum and then it get the puts the coolant back in the system um little ratchet thing electrical cutter multimeter um little air blower just you know the small small little tools like i have a little um cheap thing for uh check if a reservoir is bad a coolant reservoir um this is my only air tool that i own oh and this and this thing Two years ago, I got this thing when I got my job. I don't think I used it once. Um, maybe once. But honestly, never used it. No joke. That's what I said about that impact wrench. It was a beast. Never had to pull anything else out. Then I got things like uh, this again, like a little cheap tool. Barring tool. Yeah, that's pretty much got here and what do I have here I got my you know, basic little oils and I got my creeper this is my little corner for my truck that I use this was never here except now I got like Freon for my truck and oil for my truck then I got buckets um, to drain coolant and I got some more sockets and stuff in there and I got an air hose back there and I got a little light, got little electrical terminals. I guess easier to show you. Got these little electrical terminals in here. Um, got a power probe. Um, some electrical connectors. And I got one of uh, I got these little things is very useful. I don't think it's expensive, I think it's like 250 bucks, but very useful if you got a 
um, hard little um, little bolt that doesn't want to come out. And, you know, any of these little type of bolts gets them out in an instant. And I got torque wrench in here. Doing injectors. Um, if you're adjusting injectors, like on a Cummins, um, got a jack, little thing. Another torque wrench. I really like this thing. Also expensive. And I just got regular stuff in there, gaskets, uh, left over from jobs, uh, bungee cords, extra gloves, and I just got this thing, little grease gun. I never really needed one, uh, but now that I got my own truck, my trucks, I bought one. I'm really excited to use it. I, like I said, I just, just got it. Um, really wanna get to use it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my setup. I don't really do tires or anything. Don't do big jobs um, on the go. This is pretty much to take care of my mobile stuff. For this up, I go with like doing a turbo or an injector or something like that. That's pretty much the deepest I go. Or clean a filter, you know, those kind of types of small jobs. I do have a little like you'll say bunk setup. This is one of those uh, carts that Harbor Freight sells. It comes with stands. I had it when I worked at the dealership. I had it rolling around and stuff, had wheels. But then when I left, it has a, comes with a cap on here. I really recommend this if you're looking for a cart. It's like 160 bucks, as opposed to, you know, $800, $900 Snap-on or Matco one. This thing did the job. Text that text at the dealership for 30 years. Man, you wouldn't believe it. They're not so uh, hung up on the fact to have a Snap-on one or a Macro one. They had these, uh, and that's why I got it. I really recommend it, 160 bucks. Does the job. All the drawers, really spacious. Um, I didn't want to go out and spend like $1,000 on a, you know, a name brand cart. So that's why I have this. And yeah, when I uh, quit my job, I just kind of customize it to my own liking. Um, yeah, it doesn't look the most professional, but I'm trying to find something that's a little more convenient for me because like, if I need to haul a tire for my own truck, can't really fit it in here. Um, so that's why I'm looking for another way to utilize my truck because in, to use it like for, let's say a tire and still continue to be able to haul my tools. So I know they have those little boxes that, you know, they lay down flat and they just come out right here. That's something I'm looking into. Um, one of my customers keeps trying to sell me one of uh, his. So that's something I'm considering. And I don't know, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But I'm trying to, cause it's like I have a truck. Like I tell people, it's like I have a truck, but I don't have a truck because I can't really put too much in the back here. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is uh, my setup. Like I said, I'm kinda, uh, things are a little different now that I got my, uh, my own truck. Um, you know, gotta get a little like stuff like even small as Freon and oil and a grease gun. But uh, yeah, like I said, guys, I'm really want to get posting more videos. Um, this is th that's why I decided to make this video. I didn't make one before. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoy this. What else you guys want to see? And yeah, like I always say, see you guys in the next one. And make sure to comment, subscribe, like the video. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this or maybe I should just, you know, stay off YouTube. <laughs> hey guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys in the next one.